All right, Danny, we're here with your Zimmer. We're gonna check the timing, make sure everything is good to go there, and then we're gonna pressure test your cooling system as well. All coming right up, trying to figure out and get to the bottom of your little overheating problem here on your beautiful Zimmer. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. warmed up your car. That's step one of checking the timing on these cars. Step two, we have to disconnect the one wire connector, which is right here. Not exactly the easiest of locations. And my phone is ringing. Okay. Next step we're going to do Turn it on, check the timing, make sure it's at 8 degrees. Alright, we disconnected the connector, which controls the timing via computer. We're going to now start the car, adjust our timing to 8 degrees, turn it off, hook it back up, make sure we're right, make sure we're at where we need to be. I'm just going to come over, just reach right in. Grab my timing light. All right, we haven't touched it, guys. My light is set at zero, so I can see where the advance is set at currently. And right now, it's close to 14 degrees of timing, guys. Way too advanced. Draw my light down to eight. Now right at 8 degrees, I'm going to tighten down the distributor, double check it, turn the car off, hook up the connector, and fire that up. Spot on, eight degrees. I'm gonna shut her down, hook up the connector, fire it back up. Connector. Not a lot of space, guys. Brittany with the light. Connector connected. Fire it up.
one other thing AC compressor making sure the clutch isn't staying engaged all right hang the AC on guys you can see the clutch is engaged another thing that causes overheating is if the compressor is staying on even if the AC is off so watch right here the AC is on I'm going to turn it off you can see right now MustangMedic.com We take the frustration out of restoration.